All right, uh, grace and peace, uh, everybody. Um, this is uh, video number three, if you've been tracking along uh, with me. Um, just wanna share uh, another reflection um, about just the different current events that are going on. Um, this past weekend, um, let me back up. Um, so um, I'm in an interracial marriage, if you don't know who I am, I'm just watching this video. So uh, my wife is black, um, therefore I have black family and I have uh, white family. Um, my sister-in-law in, -law in uh, Chicago, uh, over the weekend, um, her and her husband sat their two boys down, uh, ages 10 and ages 14. And they watched the video of the death of George Floyd. Um, this isn't uh, unique just to their family. Uh, I'm fairly certain that this has happened uh, all over the country over the last few days, but they intentionally sat down with my nephews and had them watch the video. And then they had a family conversation um, where they just talk through together the reality of the world that we live in, uh, the reality of how our society and how sometimes the police are going to view my black nephews. And they just had a family talk, a family discussion. And again, this is not unique to my in-laws. This, this is happening. And they had a discussion about what to do if and when they are ever confronted by the police. And I, I just, I share that because, again, if that has not been your lived experience, I just think we need to sit with that for a second. Ever since I, I heard that they had that conversation, it's not new to know that those conversations happened. It's very personal to know that that's my nephews and my nieces, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, right? That's very, that's very personal to me. And I want you just to reflect on that, that those conversations have to happen. I, I want you to think some of you maybe have gotten a phone call after a loved one's death uh, where you get a call that so-and-so has passed. For me, uh, two years ago, I I'll never forget getting that call when my father died, right? I'll never forget like the, the sinking feeling in your gut, right? That, I don't know, like just a bewilderment like I've never experienced, right? And I want you to think about that, that like the family of George Floyd got a phone call letting them know that he was dead, but letting them know that he died at the hands of the police. And I, I just want you just to process that a little bit. Like that should not be at the hands of those who are to serve and protect and they got that call and they processed that. And then that family has had to watch that video. And I, I just think that we need to sit in that and we need to ask the Lord to personalize that pain for us and allow us to wrestle with that. And I think all of us need to come to the conclusion where we just say that that should not be. I'll just... I'll just leave it there and uh, pick up that thought uh, in the next video.